Question number nine. Look at this expression. 10y plus 2. When y is 0 0.4, the value of 10y plus 2 is an even number. And this is because if you do 10 lots of 0 0.4, this bit, you're going to get 4. And when you add 2 onto it, you're going to get 6, which is even. It then says write a value for y so that 10y plus 2 is a prime number. Well, first of all, let's think about what the prime numbers could be. The prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. We don't need to go know any more for the case of this question. Now, the easiest thing to do is to see what we're going to make the number on the end equal. And it could be any of these prime numbers. So it could equal 2, 3, 5, 7, or 11. Now, there are numerous answers to this question, and we won't do them all, but we might look at three of them. So let's say that we make 10y plus 2 equal to 5. Let's see what would happen. Well, y times by 10, and then add 2, would have to equal 5. So to find the value of y, we would have to work backwards. When you work backwards, you do the opposite. So the opposite of add 2 is take 2. The opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. All we'd have to do now is work this backwards from the 5. 5 take 2 is 3. And 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.3. So that could be one answer for y. So y could be 0 0.3. However, that's only because we chose 5. What happens if we'd have chosen 7? Well, this time, 10y plus 2 would have equaled 7. So, if we started with y, we times it by 10, then we added 2, and out popped 7, who would then have reversed it backwards. Opposite of add 2 is take 2, opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. 7 take 2 is 5. And 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. So we could have also had the answer of y equals 0 0.5. One final example, we could have used 2, 3, or 11. Let's try and see what happens if we use 2. Now we are running out of space. So we'll just move this over here and make some extra space. So if we said that 10y plus 2 was equal to 2, because that's also a prime number, then y times by 10, add 2, out pops 2. So now we reverse it backwards. Opposite of add 2 is take away 2, opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. Same method on each one. 2 take away 2 is 0, and 0 divided by 10 is still 0. So actually, you could have had the answer of y equals 0. That would have also worked. 10 zeros would be 0, add 2 would be 2, and that would have given a prime number. So any of these answers are acceptable. If you want to, you can also try it with 10y plus 2 being equal to 3, and you can also try 10y plus 2 being equal to 11. Go on, see what you get. Right. Let's scroll down and have a look at the second part of the question. It now says 10y plus 2 is a square number. Find the values of y. So we're going to use the same method again. This time the square numbers, remember 1 times 1 is 1, 2 twos are 4, 3 threes are 9, 4 fours are 16. And we could keep going with 5 five, six sixes, etc. So all we need to do is choose one of these answers and make 10y plus 2 equal to that. So 10y plus 2, let's try equals 1. Let's see what we get. Well, y multiplied by 10, add 2, equals 1. Now let's reverse it backwards. Opposite of add 2 is take 2. Opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. 1 take away 2 is negative 1. 
a negative 1 divided by 10 is negative 0 0.1. That's because 1 divided by 10 would be 0 0.1. So negative 1 divided by 10 is negative 0 0.1. So one of the answers we could use is negative 0 0.1. Let's see what would have happened if we'd have used a different value. Well, we could have used 4. So we could have said 10y plus 2 equals 4. y times 10, same method again, add 2 equals 4. Reverse it backwards, take 2, opposite times 10 is divided by 10. 4 take away 2 would have been 2, and 2 divided by 10 would have been 0.2. So y could have also been 0.2. Let's try a couple more. We could have chosen the square number of 9, so we could have said 10y plus 2 equals 9. Set up the flow diagram again, so mystery number y times by 10, then we add 2, and out pops 9. Reverse it backwards. Opposite of add 2 is take 2. Opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. 9 take away 2 is 7. And 7 divided by 10 is 0 0.7. So we could have had y of 0 0.7. And just for good measure, we'll do one more. We could have said that it's equal to the square number of 16. So we could have said 10y plus 2 equals 16. Again, Set it up in the same way, so the mystery number y times it by 10, we're adding 2, and out pops 16. Reverse it backwards, do the opposite, opposite of add 2, take 2, opposite of times 10 is divide by 10. 16 minus 2 is 14, and 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. So we could have also add y is 1.4. Any of those answers will be acceptable, but the method stays the same. You make the expression equal to a square number, and then you solve the expression to find the mystery value. On the top question, you make the expression equal to a prime number, which was these numbers here, and then you solve the question to find the mystery number. So there's your answers.